Hello there! This is John V, Software Evangelist Jscape, and you're watching another Jscape MFT Gateway tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to reverse proxy HTTP in three simple steps. There may be instances when you'd want external users to access HTTP servers located behind your corporate firewall. A secure way of doing this is by allowing access to those servers through an HTTP reverse proxy. In this short tutorial, we'll show you the basic steps of achieving this using Jscape MFT Gateway. So for example, I have an HTTP web file transfer service running in my internal network with an IP address of say 172.31.27.199. And I want that service to be accessible to external users, but at the same time, for security reasons, don't want those users to connect directly to it. So what I can do is install MFT Gateway on my DMZ on a machine with, say, public IP address 3.14.142.76 and set up MFT Gateway to run an HTTP reverse proxy that maps to that HTTP web file transfer service in my internal network. Users can then connect to that file transfer service through the HTTP reverse proxy. And what this means is that instead of connecting to 172.31.27.199, the IP address of my internal based web file transfer server, users will be connecting to 3.14.142.76 instead. Let me now show you how to set up something like this on Jscape MFT Gateway. I assume you already have an HTTP service running in the background and that it's reachable from your MFT Gateway instance. So the first step is to launch the MFT Gateway Manager and go to Services and then click the Add button. For step two, select HTTP from the Client Protocol drop-down list and leave the server protocol as is. If you expand the server protocol drop-down list, you'll notice that you can also connect to remote HTTPS service. Uh, but for now, let's just leave that to its default value, which is HTTP. Finally, for step 3, you need to specify the proxy service parameters. So the first thing you need to specify are the local host and port numbers. This is the listening IP address and port number for the HTTP service on your Jscape MFT Gateway instance. Uh, this is where your users will be connecting to. Second, you need to specify the remote host. This is the IP address and port number of your target HTTP server, the one in your internal network. This will be used by your Jscape MFT Gateway instance to establish a reverse proxy connection. So in my case, this is the IP address and port number of the web file transfer service in my internal network. And then lastly, you need to enable URL rewriting. For HTTP and HTTPS protocols, you may need to have Jscape MFT Gateway rewrite certain HTTP and HTTPS headers and content. We won't be discussing that now, but you can read more about setting URL rewrite rules for more information. We've provided a link to that in the description or in the post wherever you're viewing this. Once complete, the HTTP reverse proxy service will be displayed on your services panel as shown on the screen. So now, if you want to connect to that web file transfer service, you just enter the IP address of your HTTP reverse proxy on your web browser like so. So again, this is the IP address of the reverse proxy and not the IP address of the internal network-based web file transfer service. That's it. Now you know how to set up an HTTP reverse proxy service using Jscape MFT Gateway.